Welcome back to Islets. I believe this may be the last video that I make uh, of this game, but it's not the last one I'm going to play because I have just fallen in love with this adorable little Metroidvania that's got some interesting new innovations in its map. You can see in the last episode, I managed to find my second magnetic core, which meant that North Stable and Inverness Islands slammed together, and now their maps adjoin each other but they don't actually adjoin in any places where i've been before uh you know because sometimes i've got you know i've been to one half but i haven't been to the other half and so it looks like for instance you know i might be able to travel to the right and uh i'm starting here in north stable island but i might be able to get over to inverness island by moving right so let me i'm gonna try to find the nearby it looks like there's a teleporter nearby so I'm going to get in this teleporter and get as close to the border as I can. Now, I don't know if I have the wherewithal to travel this way. Let's see. What is this? Do I know what this is? I don't know. Okay, so no. It looks like there is an exit over here, but I don't have whatever ability it takes to get to the upper right corner of this spot. So let's travel around and try to go, go up from here. I really like the soundtrack. I'm nervous about it drowning me out potentially, but so let me know if the audio suffers any problems. Oh wait, I've got a, I have a new ability that I can use to go to a place I don't want to be. I didn't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Why did I do that? I just saw something cracked and I felt like I had to do it. Oh wait, though, if I go to the right from here, I might be able to get out of the island. Well, so let's, actually, let's do that. Let's see if I can go to the right. No, I, how do I, there we go. Like, no, I don't, I do not want to do that. Stop making me attack that thing. Stop it. Okay, so basically I have to, I have to, there. There we go, fine. Whatever. I basically had to, ex like, expire the little attack node before I could not attack it. I heard this forest used to be underwater a few thousand years ago. I wonder if these spirits were alive back then. Okay, I remember this. I've been here, but stop talking. Stop. Stop. I've been here before. I just needed to sort of weave my way through these guys. Come on, you big dead fish. Is this right? Okay, yeah, so I want to get to the right. Ah! Ah! So Lockenstein says that my sword swing reminds him of Strider. Uh, you're talking about the uh, the old like the old side scroller game or the new remake of the old side scroller game. Because I've played the the recent remake, but it was a long time ago and I've forgotten a lot about it. Ow! Okay, I thought that was clever, but it was not. I I, I did not do that in a clever way. Uh, which way do I want to go? To the right. I'm going to go to the right. Oh, this jerk. Eco, you won't believe what just happened to me. I fell asleep on North Stable Island, and when I woke up, Inverness Island was attached to it. I remember sleepwalking as a kid, but to know that I managed to connect two islands in my sleep is pretty incredible. Seriously, seriously. Can I just murder this guy? <laughs> He's the worst. So now, I am on Inverness Island, but, oh, but they've got the same, the same biome color. So, okay, so I'm still in purpley land, but I'm in purpley land in Inverness Island, and they managed to not cross the streams until this point. So, I don't know how to get up to the left. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
Aha. Oh, this is going to drop some enemies on me. Ah, they're trying to get me. Oh, and a new ghost. So, uh, Lockenstein says that it was the, um... It was the original Strider that he's thinking of, uh, which he played to death on the Genesis. So it's cool. Yeah, I never played that one on the Genesis. I mostly played Toe Jam and Earl on my uh, on my brother's Sega Genesis. <laughs> Toe Jam and Earl and Sonic were basically my games. I like that he slightly. Not only does he aim his um, bow in the direction of nearby enemies, but he also, like, his sword slash will tilt slightly, slightly to hit a nearby enemy. You see that? Like, that's kind of cool, actually, that they sort of aim that little, that little animation towards an enemy. Normally, you just have somebody just, like, do their little slash in the same direction each time, and it's up to the player to sort of get it on the enemy, but... Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going back that way, I guess. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Ah, all right. Here we go. Yay! I guess I didn't have to murder those. I could have just moved on, but whatever. Okay, now I'm back. Wait, I just went in a big loop? Oh, no. Oh, wait. What's this thing? Ship part. Ship parts can be traded in Sky City for an upgraded aircraft? Oh, what? I can upgrade my aircraft. That's great. Okay, and so now I'm back on North Stable, I guess. Or I'm probably close. Maybe not quite back. Nope, I'm almost back. But, okay, so this little... This little corner of Inverness Island isn't even connected to the rest of Inverness Island. This is effectively part of North Stable. That's only here when it's connected to Inverness. Interesting. Okay, so, wow, I'm a long way from like every teleporter. So I guess we'll just start traveling west until we can teleport someplace else. Oh, I thought I'd make that. Exion says that uh, that NPC reminds him of Zot from Hollow Knight. I don't actually remember. I don't remember a character named Zot from Hollow Knight, but I only played. I'm bad at Hollow Knight, so I have not played as much Hollow Knight as many other people have. So I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm basically. I just wanted to see how they structured the map around have I talked to you already yes I have yes I have yes I have okay but it seems that the character is really aware of where enemies are around him when he's shooting not only does he aim his shots directly at the enemies but he also like the amount he moves forward with each attack depends entirely on whether moving forward would collide him with a dangerous enemy. And he does not move forward into dangerous enemies. So you can just, like, as long as you're attacking, you don't have to worry about accidental collisions. It looks like there's a, a way to go that I haven't gone that is to the left of the area beneath me. I don't know if it's going to be... Oh, no, it's some kind of weird thing that I can't do. All right. And now I'm, now I'm here. There's a save point down below... Oh, if I had just continued going left, I could have gotten to a teleporter. Now I'm screwed. Okay, well. I wish I could undo the decision that brought me down here. Oh, I've got to do this whole thing? Ah, oh, man. Can I... I can't teleport from save points, can I? Oh, right. And this is... Okay, this is the whole thing where I have to not jump until the right time. Again. 
then boing, boing. And then run this way and boing. And then what was what was this? I don't know what that was. Um, I'll eventually get somewhere useful, I imagine. Okay, so yeah, Exion says that they were uh, a character in the, 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 that Zote in Hollow Knight was a character that you save multiple times, and they're just always really ungrateful and, and, and self-interested. So yeah, I guess there's, I guess there must be a long tradition of this kind of character in, in this sort of game. But let's see if any of these areas have. Ooh. Ooh, I can spend money to... Oh, okay. Finally. Okay, here's a... Oh, yes! Teleporter. Okay, this is a place I hadn't been before, and... Oh, I... That's all it is, is a teleporter. Well, hold on a second. Before I take the teleporter, let me potentially screw myself over by seeing what other exits there are here, because I see... There's some kind of downwards exit. But I don't see where it is. The map says there's a downward exit here. But I don't see a downward exit. Is there like a... Is there like a hidden downward exit? I don't see where there would be one. Weird that it's showing me this downward exit that I, I can't identify. Huh. Okay, well anyway... We could... Where'd be another place to... Okay, like here. Let's explore to the left from here and see what kind of place we can get to. So I want to go left further and then down. What do you bet that I can't go... That in, in the area to the left... I can't go up, but I can go down, and then. But if I go down and then go onto North Stable Island, I'll eventually loop back to the higher to the higher uh, crossing. Let's see if I'm right about that. Come on, let me up. I'm trying to go left and down. Okay. No! Ah! All right. Oh, what did you? Oh gosh. Oh, you are the worst. All right. Ah! Okay, so I can save and replenish here and then go. Okay, so originally I think this, yeah, this area here was cut off, but now it's connected. And now I'm, oh no. All right. And, wait, can I? Okay, I can't go down there. By the way, note that some of these uh, places have have downward doors. So it looks like some of the future islands are actually going to be connected uh, from the from below rather than from the sides. So that's interesting. Ah. Ah. Come on, let me up there. Okay, obviously murdering both of you, just for existing. Because I want experience. Ah, okay, so now this. Yep. Whee! What? Oh no. And here depicts the three great beasts of Cinder Island. I think that the island didn't spin apart by accident. I think that these three beasts orchestrated the whole thing. Well, enough of that. Follow me. We're almost at the deadly pit of recently escaped spirits. 
<laughs> no, it's that guy who tried to get me killed before. He's leading somebody else. I love the deadly pit of recently escaped spirits. Because, you know, of course, I broke the tomb of a thousand spirits or something like that. And so now he's captured some of the spirits. Oh, Exion wants to know what my... Oh, gosh! Wants to know what my character is. Uh, is and is guessing perhaps a cat. So, uh, oh, wow, the enemies reset their positions. Okay, that was terrible. Um... Whatever. If I die, I die. Oh, oh, and they're back! Oh, that was stupid. And now I'm dead. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so this game is suddenly getting harder, isn't it? Go down as quickly as we can. One thing, I hadn't really paid attention to how enemies respawn. I'm usually just going forward, 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 forward all the time. I didn't realize that if I left an area and then immediately came back, the enemies would all respawn. So uh, let's let's not do that again. Let's get through this as quickly as we can. Oh wait, one of the enemies didn't come back. Weird. So some enemies respawn consistently and some don't. All right. Cool. All right, let's not get murdered here. Yeah, it looks like those guys are what my uh, bow is for. Oh, nope. There we go. All right. Not as hard as it seemed. I just needed to pay attention and know what to do. Okay, so here, here we've got a connection to that same teleporter I went to before. And now, now I can open the door. So basically it says like, okay, you have to go through it this direction the first time. But once you've done that, we'll open up a connection to make it easier to, to pop around in here. Oh, anyway, Exion, you were guessing my character was a cat and I, I think I got distracted. My character's a mouse. There, question answered. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that place is a nightmare. And what's this? Oh, are you enjoying your tour so far? I know the trek is difficult, but once you see the deadly pit of recently escaped spirits, it will all be worth it. Now let's hurry up. The spirits are getting hungry. What is this idiot doing? Stop! Oh, I gotta pay... Oh, I gotta pay a toll. That's fine. Um, I don't want to go that way yet, though, because this place looks interesting. What's this? What's up here? So I'm going... Okay, I had two different ways I could go. I'm really not sure which one's better. Ow. Ow. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going in, like, the right place to catch up with those guys or if that was the other way that I should have gone through the other door, the, 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 the paid door, the toll door. Nope, I went the right way for these guys. And here is the deadly pit of recently escaped spirits. And these are the guys from the boss battle that I fought. Um, as the story goes... Oh, sorry, I need to click something on my screen. That I keep getting these reminders to restart my machine. Come on. Give me a break. Uh, as the story goes, the creatures who once lived on this island would place every, the spirits of every beast they killed in a tomb deep in these ruins. When the tomb was full, they sealed the ruins shut. Then, the tomb was tragically destroyed by some sort of monstrous maniac. The surviving spirits fled to this pit where they patiently await for their master to drop them in a sacrifice for them to eat. Quite a story, huh? Just stand right there and I can go open the hatch so you can get a closer look. Ah, little mouse! I didn't see you there. How long have you been standing there? I don't think it's fair to this paying customer if you just stand there eavesdropping on this tour. Now run along then. These spirits are getting very hungry. So he runs away. 
Now look what you've done. My sacrifice uh, customer ran off because of you. Yes, that is a frog, Paroxicus. Well, well guessed. Uh, now, what are these bloodthirsty spirits going to eat? Wait, am I? Is this a boss battle? <laughs> what? They did it like a boss battle? And I get a bunch of experience for murdering Tour Frog? <laughs> wow! They, they did the boss battle music and everything! <laughs> that was amazing! I'd like a refund, please. <laughs> okay, I can't get up to whatever that is. Here is a what? What is this? <gasps> climb. Hold jump while pressing against the wall to climb. What? What? So that means I can go back here. And I can go. Yes. Bunch of experience. Oh, there's so many places I can go now. There's so many places I can go. Just no place that has a lip. That's all, that's the only thing I can't do. So Paroxica says that I should have pushed the guy who wanted a refund into a pit. While sticking to a wall, press away from the wall, press jump at the same time to kick off the wall. Boink. Wee. Oh, wow. My character is so freaking versatile now. Whoa, ah! <gasps> Secret. Oh, get out of here. You are not welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, done. Um, can I go this way? With, where am I? Okay, I'm back in a place I've been before. But I missed that entire... The place that I was supposed to spend money to drop into, I I didn't go there. So let's go all the way back. Oh gosh. Wait. Let's not do that. Let's go this way instead. Oh yeah, like I could just climb the wall. <laughs> I don't even need to like jump up these things. I could just be like, oh ow, hi. Oh gosh. Hold on, hold on. Nope, that's not where I want to be. Uh. This is where I want to be because I can now teleport over here and whoa, I'm just doing that in places I don't have to do it. Um, come over here. We <laughs> just this game is entirely different now. Oh, I, I'm still the same player, unfortunately, but we <laughs> look at his little animation. <laughs> we I'm sorry. This game just got I mean, I already liked this game. This game just got so freaking fun. <laughs> All right. So this is where I unlock that door, right? Oh, no, more of this. Okay, I'm actually kind of screwed now. Oh, wait, no. Not if I... Not if I'm good at the game. Let's find out if I'm good at the game. Uh... All right. Yeah, I'm good enough at the game anyway. Oh, oh, what's this guy? <gasps> upgrade! <gasps> Pick an upgrade. Money? No, thank you. Range? Okay, let's do range of slam attack, I guess. Was that it? Um, this is a dead end? It's a dead end. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah! Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm gonna be absolute garbage at this. What did I... I don't even know what I thought I was doing just there. Um, let's try to get back to a place where we can save. Because... 
I mean, we have just, we just unlocked so much fun potential for this game. Oh gosh, nope. So much potential for me to die. Well, that's one way to get back to a save point is to just, is to just die. That'll do it for you. Um, so let's, let's, having failed and felt sad about ourselves, let's go and do one more thing before we end this episode. Because I think, I think this is gonna be my last episode. And I think it's a, it's, what the heck? I'm so bad at this. Um, I think this is a good time to quit because uh, not only have we sort of seen what's special about this game, you know, the way that, the interesting way that it, it, its map works, we've also just barely unlocked an incredibly fun mechanic. Why am I, why do I suck so much? Okay. We've just unlocked an incredibly fun mechanic. So clearly this game still has a ton more potential. And so people who watch this video will still be motivated to come and get this game so they can just climb all the freaking walls. Okay. Oh, I am just, no, this is what killed me last time, wasn't it? Oh, I'm such garbage. Okay, we're not going that way again. Um, we'll go right, we'll go right. We're going right. Whee! Whee! So yeah, so Rosenberg uh, showed up recently and is asking, was asking, you know, how is this game so far? So yeah, I love this game. I am so glad that I bought this game. <laughs> Um, because it's just, I mean, it looks so simple and, and small, and it's very easy to just sort of, like, I'm imagining there might be people who just sort of look at videos or screenshots of this game and think, oh, it's just some little indie game, whatever, nothing special, without realizing how special this game is. So yeah, I, I want to encourage people to, if, if you're into this kind of side-scrolling Metroidvania sort of game, please, please definitely consider picking this one up. It is... It is so cute. And it's just so, like... I don't know. It just se it seemed very simple at first. When I first started playing it. But they keep unlocking new things that just make it more and more interesting. Wait, what, what was down here? Oh, I have to open this up from below. Got it. Okay. I'm oh, I went the wrong way. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention. I need to drop down. No, I'm not fighting this guy again. I hate these guys. Ow! Ow! What am I doing? All right. I just want to get to a teleporter. Not in here. Oh, ow! I'm seriously gonna kill myself so many times. Okay, teleporter. First, let's teleport to a place that has a save. Like, right here. So that we can replenish ourselves. And then, here's the last thing I want to do. I want to see how upgrades work. I've got a ship part now. What, 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 what can I do with that? Does anybody here out here know? Who's this? Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's wait on this because I don't know if it's going to cost money to upgrade my ship. What does this person do? Teleport from save shrines. Okay, sorry. That's the most important thing. And then upgrade markers so I can see where upgrades are. Okay, well, I can't afford that now, but... Yeah, teleporting from save shrines would have been very helpful. Uh, hello. Uh, no, I'm fine. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember if I've already encountered the place where you upgrade ships. I mean, this is no. I'm not talking to that jerk.
Okay, so Cogs uh, is doing some research on this game. He says that uh, Kyle Thompson, seemingly a solo dev, took two years to make this and is making something new now. Uh, that's a, that is really cool, actually. I didn't, I didn't realize. I mean, this does seem... Oh, good, Ship Shop. This does seem like the kind of game that a solo dev could make, but it doesn't seem like the quality of game that a solo dev could make. This seems higher quality than I would expect from a typical solo dev. So, um, well done, Mr. Kyle Thompson. Okay, so I need two pieces in order to upgrade the ship. Okay, great. Well then, good. I didn't waste anything. Um, oh, you just you just fall over and die, Snoot. I just oh, hate you so much. Okay, yeah, so I can't afford upgrade markers, but maybe I can... Can I afford another upgrade over here? Yeah, I can just barely afford strength and sword. You know what I need, though? I need health potion. So good, my health has been slightly, permanently increased because I am garbage at this game, and uh, I and I need it to, to survive. But yeah, like, I could totally imagine somebody who's, like, using Unity for the first time could make a little airship like this. You could just make a character who, you know animates in this way and, 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 and these little it's constructed of these little pieces and just as you're sliding your controller back and forth it'll just like this is something you could you could go take a, a unity tutorial and make this now I think the art being this cute is something that uh, a solo dev uh, you know needs to have some skill uh, in order to do but seriously you could go you could go do a unity tutorial tomorrow and make a little character who can move around like this the rest of it making a big large complex game, of this caliber would take a lot of steps. But you could start somewhere. This this is a place that you could start. Um, just making something like this, just something that's just interesting to move around the screen. You know, where it's like you got the one propeller that moves when I, that spins when I go one way, the other propeller that spins when I go the other way. Like this is not out of reach. So if, if you're like a, you know, oh, interesting. So when I combined, when I merged the two islands, they slammed together and they went to the same location as original North Stable. All right, let's see what's over here. But yeah, so I feel like, you know, this kind of game should be inspiring to folks who are, like, aspiring game developers. Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that's cut off, so I'm going to need... Okay, you know what I bet the next phase is? I'm betting that the next thing I need to do is find a second ship part by exploring the combined North Stable and Inverness Islands. I need to find a new ship part, and I'm betting that the next level of ship that I can upgrade to has the ability to smack through those obstacles. So all of so all of the different directions that I could go on the main map, they all involve smashing through obstacles. Okay, so now I can actually... Okay, it said that I can teleport from save spots, right? Didn't it say that? Didn't I buy that? Oh, I hold Y, and now I can teleport, for instance, to right here, which I can't do anything from. So I can teleport to right here? What was... Something was stopping me from going over here, right? Something like my inability to climb? Oh, no. Oh, there's also a wall. What do I do about this wall? I don't know what to do with this wall. Now, can I teleport to save positions? Let's see. No, I can teleport from saves, but not to saves. Well, now that I can't upgrade my ship, I don't actually know what I want to do um, <laughs> to end this video. What is an interesting way to end this video? I've got a meeting in 15 minutes, so I can't just... Wait, let's... Teleport from here. Ah. Actually. Ooh, I can climb now. They climb now? They climb now. Yes. Okay, I just want to see one more exit from North Stable Island to Inverness Island. That's what I'll do. So I need to head east from here, or right, or I don't know, whatever these directions are. It's 
Splash, splash, splash. Okay, yeah, so this used to be just a cliff, and now it's a connection. And this has got a teleporter in it. Neat. Oh, and an upgrade. What? Increased climb speed. Oh, what do you bet a lot of these upgrades are tied to abilities that I have to manually unlock? Oh, my climb speed is up. And so that's why... Attempt time trial? Come on, come on. Did I do it? Yes! Okay, okay, no, I've got... Okay, arrow fire rate. All right. So, yeah, I'm betting that as I unlock new abilities, new upgrade cards will appear, rel like, related to those abilities. But in the meantime, I can just buy currency if I want to. It does make me feel like... Is there a way for me to get all of the upgrades before I've unlocked all of the possibilities? That, that would be a danger in a system like this. But I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, oh, so, Cog says I should look into Sheepo. Apparently Sheepo is another game by the same developer. So I don't know if it's, is that his upcoming game or is that a past game of his? I don't know. Anyway, um, that seems like a nice excuse uh, to, end, to end the video. Uh, because I just succeeded at something at the very edge of the timer. Uh, and that, that, I don't know, that's dramatic, right? That feels good. So we'll wrap this up, but... I'm gonna keep playing this. This game is amazing. I'm just not gonna keep streaming it because I want you to go out and buy it and you to discover the rest of it by yourself. But uh, thank you all who've been hanging out with me uh, and playing this game with me. I'm excited about it and I'm doing an end screen. So I'll put some other links over here to other things, maybe other side scrollers or something and you can check those out.